Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padua and we're back to our weekend analysis and this is for today, Friday through Monday, January 20 to 23, 2023 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. I just want to greet you all a happy Chinese New Year which is uh, just around the corner. It will be celebrated this coming uh, Sunday. It's the year of the water rabbit. Now let's begin with our update. Here's the latest graph set for today, Friday until tomorrow, Saturday. We still have the shear line or the tail end of our frontal system and it's uh, still affecting the Bicol region and some portions of uh, Calabarazon, Oriental Mindoro and Marinduque but it's now uh, dissipating. Most of its uh, rain bands associated with the shear line has settled down and it's no longer bringing heavy rainfall and it's just uh, thin clouds over the Bicol region but the uh, effects of the northeast monsoon continues to bring uh, winds of up to 50 kph 30 to 50 and uh, in some areas it's up to 45 kph and along the coastal waters of Luzon, we have winds of up to 60 kph. So please take all necessary precautions. There are gale warnings in effect based on the Pagasa report. And uh, those uh, who wants to fish out, out to the sea is not allowed. As of this time, there will be some large waves that could affect your fishing uh, vessels. So please take all necessary precautions and avoid venturing out to sea. And the northeast monsoon is also affecting the uh, Cagayan Valley area, uh, Cordillera administrative region, as well as the Batanes, Babuin, Kumbab Islands, Calabarazon, Metro Manila, and extending all the way across the Visayas, Sulu Archipelago, Mimaropa, Calayan Island Group, the uh, northern portions of the South China Sea, West Philippine Sea as well, and also some of the fringe effects of the uh, northeast monsoon is also bringing some rains across the Sambuanga Peninsula. And so far, that's the uh, latest from our graph set. And if we take a look at the uh, fast animation, there you go. The thick uh, cloudiness, which has been uh, being heavy, uh, which has been being light to moderate to at times heavy rainfall across the Bicol region, has waned down or has dissipated and it's just uh, some thin clouds and some sunshine has been uh, observed across portions of the Bicol region during the afternoon and uh, only uh, moderate to strong northeasterly winds will be expected with some light showers particularly along the uh, coastal waters of the Bicol region here's the zoom in solid animation so here's uh, the uh, loop beginning at 4 p.m until uh, 10 o'clock this evening and you can clearly see here that the uh, rain bands is uh, has dissipated and it's just uh, low level uh, cloudiness with some uh, decaying uh, alto cumulus can be observed across uh, the Bicol region and as we uh, take a look at the wind forecast for the next uh, seven days by uh, tomorrow afternoon, we still have the northeast monsoon affecting the eastern sections of the Philippine Islands, including Bicol region, but slowly it will start to dissipate. And on Sunday afternoon, the northeast monsoon will be uh, uh, transformed into a weak northeasterly surface wind flow. And on Monday, it's gonna be uh, light winds already from the northeast or east all the way across the Visayas and on Tuesday afternoon we have a new surge of the northeast monsoon beginning to affect extreme northern Luzon and Taiwan and also the West Philippine and South China Seas and the light northeastern winds will be uh, will return across the eastern sections of Luzon and uh, early Wednesday morning, the northeast monsoon will again reach the eastern sections of Luzon, including Bicol region and the Visayas, particularly through Wednesday evening or Wednesday afternoon. So winds of around um, 30 to 60 kph will be expected across these areas. 
and on Thursday the northeast monsoon quickly will uh, weaken and on Friday it's again uh, light northeasterly winds then Saturday January 28 we have another surge of the northeast monsoon due to a uh, rapid developing high pressure over mainland China and quickly sudden change of the weather will occur and rainfall uh, and uh, strong northeast monsoonal flow will again affect the eastern sections of the zone including the Bicol region until uh, January 29 okay so we have uh, two surges of the monsoon with only one to two days of uh, break okay before the uh, other surge will uh, come across the Philippine Islands and there will be a shallow LPA that will be moving over the uh, southern portions of the Philippine Sea towards the uh, coastal waters of southern Mindanao on Saturday January 28 until Sunday January 29 moving into the Celebes Sea so we are going to observe that if it will become an active one but so far it's still 10 days from now that will be uh, prone to changes okay so the uncertainty will remain high so that's the latest from our wind forecast from the European model now let's take a look at the uh, rain forecast for the next uh, one week so uh, as of now the uh, rainfall has diminished and uh, looking forward by tomorrow morning there will be again light rainfall result to light rains across the coastal waters of uh, the Bicol region including uh, becoming more frequent over Catanduanes and by the way the rainfall activity that we uh, re we recorded around the Bicol region shows rainfall of uh, 50 to 80 millimeters uh, being some flooding in uh, low-lying areas of Bicol region here in Naga we have 54 to 56 millimeters of rainfall for the past uh, day okay since 12 for today okay so uh, it's now let's uh, move now to Sunday September January 22 as you can see the uh, rainfall will be uh, diminishing across the Bicol region but over at Mindanao particularly northern Karaga Dabo region particularly Karga and Dabo region we have uh, the uh, surge of the easterly surface wind flow and will uh, bring rainfall over that area and that will uh, be uh, extending until uh, Monday and it will affect also portions of the Visayas and that's, that, that includes central uh, Visayas, Cebu uh, Negros, Bohol, and uh, the later area. And on uh, January 24, lots of rainfall will be in store across Mindanao and the southern portions of Sulu Archipelago because of the easterly surface wind flow. Wednesday afternoon, we have another surge of the northeast monsoon, but not much rainfall, only some light to moderate rains across the eastern sections of Luzon. And we have here the uh, uh, rainfall activity or becoming more frequent across the southern portions of uh, uh, Palawan and Mindanao likely because of the converging northeasterly and easterly winds here and on Thursday January 26 we have another shear line that will develop and it will affect the eastern sections of Visayas as well as uh, northern Karga Surgao del Norte, Dinagat, and Siargao Islands. So please take all necessary precautions. There will be some uh, heavy rainfall again over your area come January 26th, Thursday. Okay, so uh, that's the latest from the rain forecast. And uh, 
we will keep you updated once we return to our update that will be on Monday or next week okay and so far that's the latest this is Mike Padua again uh, saying uh, happy weekend to all good night have a uh, uh, great uh, weekend ahead again Kong Hai Fat Choi and uh, thank you so much for watching our channel